What's happening, guys? Keith here with your September 19th edition of the Impact Report. So we had a few things happen over the last couple of days that were newsworthy, so I figured I would share them with you guys. So first, on Monday afternoon, Andrew Everett took to Twitter and said, Hey guys, earlier today I was granted my release from Impact Wrestling. I had great times with the company, and I'm grateful for the opportunities that I received while under contract. At this moment, I feel that I need to test the waters in free agency, allowing myself to find a new direction in my craft. It's exciting to see what awaits me in my career. Thank you for all your support, and again, thank you Impact Wrestling for bringing the Skywalker to a larger audience. So that is some unfortunate news. Um, I thought they had something going here with Andrew Everett and DJZ as a tag team, but... One set of tapings went after Slamversary, and then the next set of tapings, and we saw nothing of the guys, so unfortunately, it was inevitable, but I wish Andrew Everett the best of luck in the future. So I'm sure most of you have heard news about WWE and Impact officials meeting up last week. Well, PW Insider had posted an article saying, Impact Wrestling officials Ed Nordholm and Scott Demore met with several high-ranking WWE executives last week at Stamford, Connecticut. PW Insider has confirmed with several WWE sources. Vince McMahon was not involved in the meeting, we are told, but members of Triple H's team were in attendance. The meeting between the two companies took place in the middle of last week, after Impact officials had returned from Manchester, Great Britain, and right before they headed to Mexico City for a pair of Impact Wrestling tapings. One WWE source described the meeting as a general discussion about the two companies, and as a chance to get everyone in the same room as opposed to a specific negotiation. Since Impact was purchased by Anthem Media, WWE has worked with the company on several occasions, paying to license materials from the TNA Impact Wrestling video library for usage on the WWE network, most notably the Hardy Boys, Broken Universe material, and AJ Styles related content. When contacted by PW Insider, Impact officials declined to comment on the nature of the meetings. One Impact source specifically stressed that the meetings were not regarding the sale of either Impact Wrestling as a company or its video library, stating neither are for sale. So I would assume this probably has something to do with the Hall of Fame announcement last week, which we'll find out tomorrow night on Impact. They probably went ahead with the meeting, tried to figure some things out, decided they were able to get such a name and that's why we got the announcement last week. Obviously, I'm just speculating on this, but, I mean, we could see a Bobby Roode come back and have be inducted with James Storm or something to that extent, or it could be something completely different, but never a bad thing for them to meet up. Um, but really, the big part of the article for me was what was left out of the title, and it was actually more about the positive atmosphere of the Impact Wrestling locker room Uh, This was later on in the article. It said, Speaking of last week's Mexico tapings, they were pointed to by several wrestlers as a sign of how the Impact Wrestling locker room has really started to congeal as a unit. Impact covered all travel and expenses for talents working the tapings, including meals, transit, on the grounds, and hotels. We were told that even talents whose deals require the company to provide them their own hotel room willingly offered to share a room with other talents in order to help Impact keep the costs affordable, and the entire trip turned into something of a big bonding experience for the locker room overall. One talent told me it was the most the locker room has felt like one team in a long time. So fantastic news right there. I mean, we've heard plenty of positive news about how the Impact Wrestling locker room is, but... Here's just some more reinforcement of that. Um, Earlier in the week, maybe even Sunday, Impact Wrestling has announced it is partnering with Border City Wrestling to bring you Motown Showdown. And this will take place on October 7th at 8.30 p.m. And it will be live on Twitch. This is one week before Bound for Glory. Um, They had a commercial on YouTube for this. uh, This featured Johnny Impact, Eddie Edwards, Matt Seidel, Moose, Eli Drake, and Tommy Dreamer. Uh, We also learned that Impact Wrestling will be partnering once again with Big Time Wrestling for the one-night-only show called Back to Cali. Uh, This will take place December 1st in Salinas, California, much like Cali Combat earlier this year. Um, No date on when it will be aired on the GWN. Um, One last thing is that uh, the good people over at DailyDDT.com recently posted an article titled Impact Wrestling. 
we need to talk about that Bound for Glory main event. So he basically is talking about Johnny Impact versus Austin Aries, and it seemed like a lot of people's initial reaction was kind of a groan and like, really, this is what we're getting? But he kind of highlights things and says, you know what? Let's see how this plays out. There's still a month left. Uh, this could turn out to be one of those things like Moose and Aries did at Slammiversary, where a lot of people didn't expect what we got from it, and it was a hell of a main event. I have full faith in Aries and Johnny Impact to put on a hell of a show, so we will see. But yeah, give that article a read. I'll leave a link down in the description or in the comment section. I'll pin it in the, the comment section. But that's really all I have for you guys today. I will catch you guys on Friday for my Impact review. So thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.